Hello and you're very welcome to Tap 41, the Take a Pole podcast, Clonmel's Twilight card. I've decided to call this Twilight card deck, I think, because the, the clocks have gone forward and summer is on the horizon. The first race is at, what, 4.03? Um, yeah, so it's caught me by surprise a little bit. Yeah, we're nearly there. It's brilliant. Um, yeah. Nothing beats a kind of a, an early evening, kind of late afternoon type of card. Um, we're going to have work, able to see a bit of jump racing. Ah, yeah, right. that, it's brilliant. It's lovely. Uh, the sun out and people enjoying themselves having cider and ice cream nothing better and uh, we're going to go for a tap record here and see how fast we can get through um this i think twice rescheduled clan milk card possibly i think it's been rescheduled twice they've had um, a hard time of it yeah but yeah, i tell you it was, it was nice and warm today Um the sun is shining cork looked lovely yesterday pissed rain at fairy house but cork looked lovely so i'd imagine clan was got a bit of that mm. and um hopefully the ground's drying out there and they could start racing again fingers crossed but i'm almost going to be like an npc in this um i'm going to be as about as useful as uh i don't know the last two obstacles at leopardstown during the winter festival when there's a low line sun i'd say uh, i'm going to not really be in too much use here but i'm going to see what i can do uh the 403 is the first race deck the Irish stallion farms ebf auction inh flat no my god that's previous that's my previous oh whoops uh, i had the uh nice nice banner up there it's the Clonmel uh, Bally McCarby Beginners Chase. That's more like it. Um, this is one of probably the better races on the card deck. Nine runners. Um, no, what, what, what do you call it? Is it not the Kill Manahan? Oh, the yeah. Kill Manahan Beginners Chase. I've had a mare here. This is what yeah. happens with the late with the late night rec- recording. Do you know what I've done? Yeah. I've actually I've actually gone over the the nice one with the Clonmel. So I'm gonna have to take off take off the banner. <laughs> uh, we are covering the 403 the beginners chase and um, the Kilman beginners chase let me fix that now while you're talking about it deck uh tempo chapter two the highest rated horse in here off 115 do you think he can get off the markers or you know, he's, he's very exposed but you think there's anything else in there yeah i was drawn to um the paul nolan horse jasmine the cut like he mm-hmm. held his own in maidens and um, he was seven uh 17 lengths eight in his only handicap run over hurdles that was off 106 i think he's only ran four times altogether Three maidens and a handicap, only a five year old. I think he's the standout here, you know, assuming he can jump, he's the, the least exposed in the field. He's shown he has ability on my hurdles, so I think he, he could take some stopping now if he can jump fences. Yeah, nice bit of placing from Paul Nolan, and he has shown enough, hasn't he? Uh, first time hood, which makes me think maybe they're going to go forward with him, possibly. Um, you know and, and that's you know that's kind of worked at clamel um as long as you don't go stupid person's gallop like i remember there was a two mile handicap chase here um i think that the third and fourth must be nearly a furlong down when they turned into the home straight and, and they were caught i think it was a you remember that race deck it was only a few months ago i think racing tv it did very well on racing tv with like loads of likes so uh i would say there was a few 101 jobs done in it. uh we charlie was probably the out of the exposed ones uh the one that i thought might run well like he was probably going to finish second to Hurricane Cliff, and he is only rated 104. But this is not a good race, uh, even though I said it's one of the better races on the card. It's not a great, it's not the best race uh, you're ever going to see. Uh, Jasmine Decott, um, if he jumps, probably is hard to beat though, in fairness, deck. Um, so it's not a race I'll be following in on. Probably none of these races will be one I'm following in on, but. But no, I'm gonna go through on. the card. I know you're gonna go through the card, and that's why I'm I'm sitting here doing this. Right? Wrong for the winner on it. <laughs> yeah. So now the 438 is the the Ballymac car the Carby beginners chase, and if there is ever a race where the definition of, you know, actually not even something's got to win. This actually isn't actually a bad race. I think the next race is where something's got to win. Uh, Duffel Coat Gaelic Arc Spanish, Spanish Harlem. So actually not a bad field. In fairness, this is probably the best race on the card. Uh, who do you like here, Dak? It's, it's I think Spanish Harlem. Look, Gaelic Arc, he was last in 21 length second, they appreciate it, but that was last January. He's been off for a long time. He yeah. did win, um, he, he won a rated novice hurdle here, so he, he's won around from Elbow. Spanish Harlem, like, hasn't been too far off. Same Felician on the line through Aim Beshi, like, he should hold Duffel Coat with fitness on his side, mm. he should win it. But Gaelic Arc, I, I'd say, is one to keep on side going forward, but Spanish Harlem to make it two from two yeah and I, i'd say yeah aim deji is kind of the the case study in this race isn't he with those two uh gaelic arc i'd say you're going to take a picture of this like seeing john patrick ryan and 452 days since the horse's last <laughs> run in the same it's sentence only four off <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's usually four five or two not 452 
Um, yeah, that, that's an interesting one. Uh, Philip Donovan has the, has the pleasure of riding Gaelic Arc, who is probably going to have about 10 runs in the next two months before the Punches Town Festival, whatever, to, to, or even before the Punches Town Festival, to make up for his 452 days off. That's like being on, on sick leave and, and whatnot for, you know, off your job. And <laughs> I'm sorry, Jordan, it's not something you see every time. Spanish Harlem, you are probably right, that is probably the one to, to be. Out of 513, the uh, but Botanica International Opportunity Handicap Chase, it's a four year old plus. Um, top way here, Robinstown trying to follow up. Um, it's not often you see a horse that's you know, he's going to be favorite, uh, coming from what a claiming hurdle. Very, very rare you see a 25 length winner of a, of a claiming hurdle, and you know, in Ireland, there's very few of them. Um, Look again, something probably has to win. I probably tentatively landed on the top weight deck, even though he's carrying 12 stone. Carl Miller, very good claimer. Uh, who do you like here? Uh, Tangential. I think he, um, he's a handicap hurdle winner here over, over three miles last March. That was off 80. Uh, he was second off 92 and then toured off 95 since over hurdles. He was fourth off this mark over fences recently. I think he just goes and wins this three out of three. Three out of three, lovely. I will actually, I will get involved this time. I think Robinstown uh, will go well under Carl Miller and King Collins up the top there. Um, I think, he, you know, a horse in form. And I think that's a lot more than what most of these can answer for. Mick Charlie could maybe give a shout out to the 12 year old um, who was in fantastic he, he form. Won, but he, he won two, two in a row recently, didn't he? He did, yeah. But it looks like his gravy yeah. chain stopped there at Turles. And when it stops yeah. for the 12 year olds, that's usually that. Yeah. Uh, for the for the rest of their career usually so um but it's good that he had a just like this twilight card had a nice twilight to to his career here danny defense's forms tailed off a little bit as well we talked a little bit about him actually in the previous podcast was form behind jouster um yeah but fair enough deck uh, a tangential for you i'll take the top weight robinstown onto the 548 uh the Nyer valley maiden hurdle um again similar to a lot of races on this card something's got to win uh who is it deck <laughs> it's zulu mike he was running a big race when he fell two out at tourless last month and a very winnable race on that farm i think he just comes and wins this far cool, and he's the <laughs> he's the pick up the rothwell duo all right george not gonna have a sentimental bet on that one now no jesus if you were to back every horse with george in its name now It'd be absolutely smashed. You're, you're lucky his name is an Oscar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or our okay. second name is Sibylla. Very nice. The Deso Bow. Yeah, the Deso Bow fan. You're probably broke <laughs> now. Anyway, uh, people probably haven't a clue what we're talking about. Anyways, uh, the, six, <laughs> the 618, this is, we're on for, this is a, a we top, only eight minutes top, in. Boy, <laughs> top boy here, the Adair Manor Eight minutes in, I'm a four from four. <laughs> yeah, we're, getting, we're getting reminders that we could stop in a hole here if we start. Uh, we're like going uh, around on, on um, Monday. We're, we might run out soon. Yeah, this is a, one here named after me. Actually, look at when, you're, when you've had a few points at the at the races and you're coming home. There's one called Andy, your bird is coming. Oh, no, sorry. It's not Andy, your bird can sing. Sorry, okay, it doesn't matter. And that's John bird Ryan. <laughs> Andy, your bird is coming. Andy, your bird is coming. What are you messing? All right, so again, uh, it's another race. It's another something's got a win deck. Two miles tree, the mare's maiden, or the yeah, mare's maiden hurdle. Who do you like here? Look, I, Alicia Dancer has been off for a long time and uh, I'll be keeping a close eye on her. But Lady Blueboard, she was second to Fleur off of Seal in a bumper in November. Um, she then won on New Year's Eve, beating Instant Tendons. Instant Tendons followed up in the maiden hur hurdle. Um, she was well held on her hurdle debut, but I think she's going to improve. The other horse in here, was she cool, Chupra Diva, she was actually behind her that day. And she's probably going to be short enough in the betting as well. I think Lady Bluebird makes a five from five. Lady Bluebird makes a five. <laughs> Lady Bluebird makes a five from five. Yeah, probably the We're most. We're going to disgrace one. ourselves. I can't yeah, you, you probably are. This is going to be this is going to be embarrassing, I'd say. But um, it's interesting. Yeah, look, uh, plenty of experience in in bumpers. Obviously, just just the six bumper starts, and and she ran fine, thirty five lengths behind Boyle Luminescence, who didn't run quite well at Fairy House, and all happened a bit quick for. Um, do you think she's she in a in a twenty is the one you you did mention up the top? Do you think Lady Bluebird will be better than one hundred and fifteen? 
Who was the one that's what, what we asked me? Oh, in a ten do. Yeah. Yeah, look, I I I think um Lady Blue Ward, like that that's that's decent form, that that bumper form behind. Like, isn't that the, the Philly that won at the Great Hill with Leopardstown and then ran in the champion bumper? Yeah. The one that beat her, like, mm. you know, so I think that's strong form. I I'll forgive her the, the maiden run and yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, I do think she'd be better than 115. Yeah, in fairness, and it's not guaranteed that Nintendo is going to run to 115, given that she yeah, was it, right at a peak of 123. So she is on her way down, but it looks yeah. not not progressing. So that's a that's a fair that's a fair enough point. Uh, On to the penultimate race. It's starting to get dark now in in Clonmel. The the Botanica International Handicap Hurdle. It's an 80 to 95. So um, again, it's your world, deck. I'm just living in it. Who do you <laughs> like for the 6:48? Look, there's two to keep an eye on, and then there's one to back. Um, Farley Shamrock, Shamrock, if she starts out or jumping, she could run well and she could be one for the next day. But just keep an eye on her and watch her jump, and it hasn't been good enough to date. Okay. Johnny Manzi is one that could, you know, surprisingly um, show an awful lot more, but hasn't shown enough to date to, to get involved with her. I was keen on Beaverstown Place the last day, but I just going to totally forgive that run at Limerick. Never travelled. I was there that day. Like, never went the yard. Knew immediately the money was done. Showed plenty of promise, promise on the second handicap before that, uh, flying home from out the back. I think he goes and wins a very winnable race here. Make it probably okay. six and six now. So 11 who, minutes who was, in, 12 minutes in and we're six and six who was that winning winning, winning to be six and six sorry beavers town place beavers town place okay duck egg the last day but it doesn't matter we're six from six no 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 ne- never went a yard to that never day. went a yard Literally booted along from Vladfall. Ne- never went a yard i was in limerick that day okay well unfortunately for the 7 8 team we're probably getting our night vision goggles out um, and you have to try and go through the card by by picking out the winner of the bumper. The next race meet in April 18th. Uh, looking forward to most likely covering that on top because uh, Clamell seems to to get a lot of our get a lot of our love for good reason as well. In a good little uh, track. Uh, just the six runners deck in the bumper. Uh, take us home. Who do you like? Oh, I know. I said I was going to go through the card, but there's actually a couple in here. That... You've been stumped now, have you? Yeah, should be of interest. But look. Bally Gunner Castle, um, three lengths toward the Coco Masterpiece, who, who was toured yesterday in, in the bumper at Ferry House. It's probably the best form on show here. So Jody's riding over skin, rode a hurdle winner the weekend. Um, really good pilot, by the way. Not just, not just a good bumper jockey, a really good jockey. Um, she takes the ride, so Bally Gunner Castle to make it seven from seven and take us through the card. Very good. Yeah, Patrick Mullins probably at nice, is he? Yeah, I would imagine so. Um, yeah, look, I I would nearly take a chance on o- Olympic to Kerasi. I remember, I actually didn't even know Bramato went to stud. Um, he was in the Al Chicago colors back in the day for a uh, uh, trained by was it was Jean Claude Rouge? I think Jean Claude Rouge trained him. Uh, he was kind of a nearly horse over those middle distances. Oh, he was second uh, to Cantico. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So, yeah, second to, to yeah. So. Um, Cantico, yeah, interesting piece of form. Now, Cantico was beaten about, I think he's still trying to finish the champion bumper as we speak. Yeah. But, um, and the dancing tree, um, is that is that the dancing tree? Um, what a Gavin Cromwell's the dancing tree is Gavin Cromwell. Well, I that was the same day at Limerick that Beaver's Town yeah. place never went to the yard, yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, like, did okay that day. My, my only hunch is that. They, he might need further already than than this this two miles. Um, if he was in a bump, if he's in an extended bumper, I would have quite liked him. I think it make a nice staying hurdler though. Uh, next year, Olympia de, de Kersey will uh, might just be a little bit of time, but I think he's shown enough to maybe take a chance on in the bumper. And I'm going to take him to ruin you going through the card um, in the final race. <laughs> uh, no nap at the top, unfortunately, because I, the I struggled. The nap at the top is the the seven fold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nap the top is the seven pole. So a very, very unique uh, take a pull forty one. The the Clamwell Twilight card. And that was a lot of fun. We're gonna do it another just about fifteen minutes. So thank you very much. Just keep liking, sharing, subscribing, guys. All the best <laughs> and bye bye. Cheers. Thank you.